we are pulling the taps. It's not gonna get below freezing for at least a week, so it's time, it's time. Oh, popped right out. Yeah. bird celebrates you. Good morning, welcome home to Mailer's Landing. I'm Sue and we are here in growing zone 6B in New England. And we've been collecting and boiling down our maple sap for the last, I'd say, four weeks. And we've gotten it condensed pretty well, but we haven't finished it yet. All these jars have been in my refrigerator. <laughs> For a really long time um, and we've hit that point where it's just there's too much going on there and today we finish it. <laughs> Come on along. So you can see that there are three distinct boils here. There are three weekends and you can see how it got darker through the month so it started out there and then our next boil was that and then our actually did we do three boils or four? Yeah, so one, two, three, four. So you can see how it got darker as the season went by. And also we got a little bit better at, at boiling it down. We're gonna do two different finishing boils and we're gonna start them outside. Maybe we can even finish them completely outside, which would be gold standard. Um, but we're gonna do this in two batches. This one, this lighter batch on the left, and then this darker batch on the right. Like, all right, so we've got just shy of two gallons in this pot. Is it pretty sweet? Oh, it's not horribly sweet, but it's really rich. Nice. All right, let's get it on the, the stove out front. Mm. We are getting close. We are getting close. Uh, we did this in the tall pan because it's going to start bubbling over. Um, the other thing is I can't actually see the candy thermometer, so I grabbed my electric thermometer. We're going to use that. See, it's already starting to get slippery. Oh, oh my goodness. Mm. Yeah, that's that's absolutely syrup. That's thick enough. Yep. Oh, oh, we're there. All right, so we are going to filter this stuff off now. Okay. It's Ooh. steamed in my face. Do you need Hold something on. to lean it against? Or? No, I just need to see what I'm doing. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, see, it's going through much slower now. 
excellent. All right, so we're just gonna drain it through and we'll get the next pot started soon. God, it's gorgeous. Look at this stuff. It's getting nice and thick as it's cooling. You can see it's starting to form as it cools down. It's, uh, oh, this is fun. Look at that beautiful bead it's holding. get our second batch up for a boil here and again we're starting it by just straining everything because you can see the bottom of that jar there's there's quite a bit of there's quite a bit of sludge so we're just gonna strain them all through all right so this one I think is gonna be much closer to finished um, it's pretty dark all right, let's get it out on the stove. Okay, and thusly shall we begin our second race to 219 degrees. All right, I'll grab a book. So I'm gonna grab a book and hang out here with the camp stove so I can keep an eye on it. It seems like this all happened really, really fast. So here we go. Is that gonna be in this room? Yeah. Okay. Wow, that filtered through fast. Yep. Done. Well, I guess none of that stuff was really cloudy, was it? Okay, and dishwasher is done, so funnel and ladle time. She pretty. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna see what this came out like. There are definitely two different batches. There's the lighter one, and this was from earlier pulls, and then the darker one, which was from the pulls from the last couple of weeks. So let's find out what we got. All right, so which one have we got first? We got the lighter one. This is the first half of the month. Okay, so let's try that out. I'm just doing a spoonful and the guys are gonna do some shots. It's only like a teaspoon. Um, mm. Yeah, this one's really woody. Yeah, I'm it getting the woody. It tastes like a little grainy. Like cereal grains. I'm not getting the grain that you really? are. Yeah, it's it's very marshmallow. It's like a to Wheaties me. grainy. Yeah, I'm not like getting that. Pops I think it's the wood, the wood yeah. and the sweetness. It's really nice though. It's it's marshmallowy. It's maple syrup for people like me who don't like maple syrup. So <laughs> what? You. Mm-hmm. That's super good. Next spoon. Okay. And this is, you can see how much darker this came out. Yeah. Look how much darker this came out. So this is what we're gonna try now. I'm dumping it everywhere. Nice. Um, I didn't get it. You just set it down. Yeah. I'll grab a spoonful. Okay. okay. Wow. 
try them. Cheers. Mm. It's thinner. No, it's dark. No, it, no, but the texture the is thinner. A little thinner. Yeah. The texture's a little thinner, but it's more traditional maple syrupy than the first batch. Yeah, it tastes way more um, like what you would expect a like store-bought maple syrup to taste like. Yeah, it's closer to it. It's not as marshmallowy. I love that they're very distinct. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't blend them together. We're just gonna do shots of maple syrup, don't we? <laughs> That's gonna be so good on French toast. Oh, yeah it is. See, that doesn't have that cloying kind of maple thing that I didn't like before. Oh, yes. thank you for hanging out with us on our mapling adventure. I'll put all this information into one big cut so you can see it start to finish too. Um, in the meanwhile, we're gonna go make some French toast. Thank you so much. We'll catch you up soon. Take care. flower.